The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, Rural Connectivity for Education and Development Conference started in Hanoi on Wednesday. Participants discussed the ways information and communication technology, or ICT, can bring more efficient key services. VTC10 reporter sat down to talk with Mr. Wang Zhou Kim, director of UNESCO Asia and Pacific Regional Bureau for Education, about the role of ICT in Vietnam's education. Thank you, Mr. Kim, for joining our talk today. So what is the role of ICT in education in the rural areas of a Southeast Asian country like Vietnam? In my humble opinion, I think ICT can bring learning opportunities for many people in the rural area or learning opportunities for those who are marginalized because of their location, because of their language and others. So. I see it can be extremely useful in a place like a rural area where the conventional approach, approach to education like a brick and mortar type of school is not possible because of financial and other reasons. So I would say providing access to quality learning opportunities is the most important role that I see it can play for the people living in rural area. What are the main challenges for the application of ICT in uh education that Southeast Asian countries may share and face? The biggest challenge, of course, is the infrastructure, which includes uh, the, the computers, network, and in some cases, even the electricity is a challenge. But other than this infrastructure, we have challenges in terms of contents, learning materials, in terms of instructors and teachers who, who can understand and deliver instruction through technology. So these are the major challenges faced by many ASEAN countries to my knowledge. I think you have a very good tradition when it comes to learning, especially uh, your tradition of uh, respect for learning or learn, learn people. I think it's very important, uh, uh, even before speaking about ICT education, uh, a society needs this kind of culture. So with this great tradition and legacy, uh, you can accommodate the technology in education and learning uh, easily compared to, I would say, other societies. You, you should take advantage of this tradition, in my view. What do you think can Vietnam learn from other Southeast Asian countries in applying ICT in education? Technological literacy in itself is very important. For that, uh, many countries in the region are accommodating ICT as a part of the subject matter in school education. So ICT as a subject can be one approach. Another approach would be for educators to use or integrate ICT in, in every aspect of a pedagogy so that the pedagogy can be transformed into one in which the teachers encourage students to become curious encourage students to become self-learner, to empower students to become problem solver, creative, creative thinker, etc. Still another approach would be for the government to use ICT in their daily manage, management and governance of education system. I'm talking about education management information system. So ICT can be used in different aspects of education as part of pedagogy, as part of subject matter, as part of management. So with that, ICT could potentially enhance the quality of learning for all people in Vietnam.